Even a simple to-do list can turn into a mess faster than you think, guys. And this kind of chaos can get expensive. The solution is a project hub that keeps your tasks, files, and conversations all in one place. But finding the right tool in today's overloaded market is tricky. I'm Daniel, and I have been a business owner for the past decade. On this channel, I'm sharing my insights with you. In this video, I'll walk you through three great project management tools you can use for free. We'll keep it practical and focused on results. By the end, you'll know exactly which platform gives you the right balance of power, simplicity and flexibility. And guys, before we get started, just a quick reminder. Check the description for helpful links and discounts you won't want to miss. But before we start, let me share how I save up to $200 on roaming. I travel a lot, and to stay connected with my partners, I always use a Holofly eSIM. With one quick setup, I get unlimited data in 200 plus destinations, plus regional bundles, and the 113 country global pass. In real life, guys, that means no frozen maps, no stalled video calls, and no mid-meeting panic. And here is my pro tip. Keep your regular number active for SMS codes, while Holofly handles all the data. What I like about Holofly is that plans are flexible. You can purchase the exact amount of days you need from 1 to 90 days. Also, if you decide to extend your trip, you can add more days to your plan without reinstalling the eSIM. Speeds stay solid too, folks. LTE and 5G with no throttling. You can even hotspot with clear daily limits spelled out so you know exactly where you stand. And if something goes wrong, real humans reply to me 24-7 on WhatsApp, live chat or email. And they do it in 13 languages. Checkout is simple, your QR arrives instantly, and the installation process is done in less than 5 minutes. You also have additional perks, like 5% cashback via Holocoins and a 6-month refund window. Overall, Holofly is the predictable, flat-rate alternative to unpredictable carrier roaming. And guys, you can also save 5% on every purchase, using my code or using the link on my description box. Alright, now let's talk about how to make even more money. On top of those communication savings, let's jump right in. Alright guys, before we compare tools, let's get clear on what project management software actually does. I like to think of it as your personal control room. It helps you to break goals into tasks and set due dates. Everything lives in one shared space and you don't have to hunt through emails or call your collaborators. A good platform lets you see the work from every angle. You can create a simple list for all the details, folks. Or if you prefer Kanban boards, you have them to watch the flow in action. For those who like to plan ahead, there are calendar integrations. Another important aspect is built-in collaborations. So all the comments, files and mentions stay right where they belong. And with dashboards, guys, you can instantly see what's on track, what's falling behind and who's carrying way too much. That way you can spot bottlenecks and fix them. Many tools also send real-time notifications and scheduled reminders. That helps your team stay accountable. Overall, a project management tool is a must-have for everyone who wants to save time, work more effectively or scale. So, my friends, let's start with the most popular option. If your priority is power without pain, ClickUp's free plan is one of the most generous around. You can invite collaborators freely and create unlimited projects and tasks. There are different types of use, from lists and boards to calendars and Gantt charts. That means you'll definitely find a setup that works for you. Beyond tasks, guys, you get docs for specs and notes. Then there is a built-in chat to keep quick conversations. And what I love is an online whiteboard to map ideas and workflows. Even on the free plan, ClickUp gives you basic automations. They include moving tasks between stages or giving you a nudge before deadlines. And sure, folks, there are trade-offs. For example, storage and a few advanced features are capped. But most small teams won't hit them soon. Because it offers so much, ClickUp can feel busy at first. So it's better to start small, set up one space, pick two or three statuses you'll actually use, and hide the extra modules for now. Once your workflow starts to click, guys, you can turn on dependencies or time tracking. Then you'll be ready for monitoring metrics and enhancing the processes. So their free plan gives you plenty to work with. You can manage projects, chats, and docs in one place. And only upgrade when you truly outgrow the limits. Now, guys, let's talk Notion. Honestly, it isn't a typical project management tool. It's more like an all-in-one workspace you can shape to fit how you think. You build everything from pages and blocks, so your project brief, task boards, and even documentation can live side-by-side side on the same page. The real magic is in its databases, folks. 
you can add many properties like status, assignee, deadline, and so on. Switching between table board or timeline views is extremely simple. On the free plan, you can create unlimited pages and databases for yourself. You can also invite guests to collaborate on specific pages. In my opinion, guys, this feature is perfect for clients' visibility. Now I want to briefly mention how you can add context to your tasks. Support them with research, notes, or even designs. You can also embed videos and drop in Figma frames. And with thousands of community-made templates, you can grab a project dashboard and customize it in minutes. Folks, some people don't like that notion as a blank canvas. You'll need to decide how to structure it. But I believe that this flexibility pays off once you've put in a little time. If you like designing systems, it rewards you with a workspace that mirrors your brain and keeps everything connected. And finally, my friends, this app is a great deal for solo operators and small teams. For beginners, it takes a little time to find your footing. But once you understand basic principles, you'll have a system that adapts to every new project without switching tools. Guys, before we continue, I'm happy to share my insights with you. And all I ask in return is that you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks. Let's move on to Monday, folks. This tool feels like a modern color-coded spreadsheet that actually manages work. You create a board, add rows for tasks, and use columns to track owners, dates, and notes. The visual cues do the heavy lifting. Green means done, yellow means in progress, red means stuck. You can group tasks by face or theme or collapse sections for focus. And guys, it's extremely easy to switch between a table, a Kanban board, or a calendar view. Even on the free plan, you get enough to organize real projects. There are boards for different clients or work streams. You'll find plenty of items and a Word doc system for meeting notes and specs. Monday's real advantage is usability. The interface is clean and onboarding someone new takes minutes, not days, folks. Templates cover everything from simple task lists to content calendars and event plans. So you can start structured without building from scratch. The minor limitation on free is collaboration at scale. It's great for individuals or pairs, but larger internal teams would need automations and deeper integrations. Overall, guys, if you need a fast, friendly way to make work visible right now, Monday is easy to adopt and easy to love. You can also add a simple dashboard to visualize progress and share read-only views for stakeholder updates. So, my friends, which one should you choose? It depends on several factors. First, understand your workflow and team size. If you're solo and want one place for ideas, docs, and tasks, Notion is hard to beat. But if you're coordinating a small team and need structure on day one, ClickUp gives you more project muscle on the free tier. It doesn't require complex setup, so you can start immediately after signing up. And lastly, guys, there is Monday for those who prioritize ease for non-technical collaborators or clients. Next, think about the work you run. If your projects are heavy on content and documentation, Notion is a natural fit. The tasks and context live side by side here. If you are managing dependencies or tight schedules, ClickUp's Gantt charts are a better choice, folks. Plus, it has agile-friendly features built for that. And if you handle lots of small, repeatable jobs, Monday's boards make tracking a breeze. And here's the golden rule. Keep your setup simple. Short status lists, only the fields you'll actually maintain, and one agreed spot for notes. Because in the end, guys, consistency is what delivers projects on time. All right, my friends, let's wrap up. The right project management tool makes your work easier, not heavier. So we need to know what each one does best. For example, ClickUp gives you room to scale without the upfront cost. Notion gives you creative control to design a system you'll actually use. And Monday gives you immediate visual organization that collaborators understand in minutes. All three are free to try, guys. So you can set up a project in each and see which one makes your week easiest. Pick the platform that aligns with your style and watch your projects become more effective. By the way, what tools have you tried and what did you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments. All right, my friends, and that's all about this best project management software overview. So don't forget to check those links in the description below. If you had a good time, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.